Good evening, and welcome to Blessed Sacrament. This weekend, we celebrate the third Sunday of Ordinary Time. Our presider is Father Roy. Please stand and sing with me. Number 607, sing a new song. Number 607. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord, singing Alleluia. Shout with gladness, dance for joy. Oh, come before the Lord. Glad tambourines and let your trumpet sound. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Singing a My dear friends, please um, face the entrance of the church because you are going to welcome another beautiful little girl into the face. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, your family has experienced great joy at the birth of your child, and the church shares in your happiness. So today, this joy has brought you to the church to give thanks to God for the gift of your child and to celebrate a new birth in the waters of baptism. This community rejoices with you for today. The number of those baptized in Christ will be increased. And we offer you our support in raising your child in the practice of the faith. Therefore, brothers and sisters, let us now prepare ourselves to celebrate this celebration to participate in this celebration, listening to God's word, praying for this child and her family, and renewing our commitment to the Lord and to his people. So what name have you given your child? And what do you ask, what do you ask of God's church for Isla? And in asking for baptism for Isla, you are undertaking the responsibility of raising her in the faith so that keeping God's commandments, she may love the Lord and her neighbor as Christ taught us. So do you understand this responsibility? We do. And also God's parents. Are you willing to help the parents of this child in their duty? Yes. And now Isla. Hello. <laughs> she doesn't want to look at me. Oh, my God. The church of God receives you with great joy. In, in her name, I sign you with the sign of the cross of Christ, our Savior. And then after me, uh, you, your parents and God's parents may do the same. I will put a little bit. And now we proceed glorifying God. Oh, thank you. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth. Full of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. 
God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good. alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works through our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jonah. The word of the Lord came to Jonah saying, set out for the great city of Nineveh and announce to it the message that I will tell you. So Jonah made ready and went to Nineveh according to the Lord's bidding. Now Nineveh was an enormously large city. It took three days to go through it. Jonah began his journey through the city and had gone but a single day's walk announcing Forty days more, and Nineveh shall be destroyed. When the people of Nineveh got believed God, they proclaimed a fast and put all of them, great and small, put on sackcloth. When God saw by their actions how they turned against the evil way, he repented of the evil that he had threatened to do them. He did not carry it out. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To you, O Lord, I lift up, I lift up my soul, my God. <clears throat> to you, O Lord, I lift up, 
I lift up my soul, my God. Your ways, O oh Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth, for you are my God, and for you I will wait. To you, O oh Lord, I lift up, I lift up my soul, my God. Good and upright is the Lord, he shows us the way. He guides the meek to justice, he teaches the humble to follow his ways. To you, O oh Lord, I lift up I lift up my soul, my God. Your way, O oh Lord, is kindness to those who are true. Your friendship is with those who love you. You reveal to them your word. To you, O oh Lord, I lift up, I lift up my soul, my A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I tell you, brothers and sisters, the time is running out. From now on, let those having wives act as not having them, those weeping as not weeping, those rejoicing as not rejoicing, those buying as not owning, for using the world as not using it fully, for the world in its present form is passing away. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. After John has been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. 
This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. As he passed by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting their nets into the sea. They were fishermen. Jesus said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. Then they abandoned their nets and followed him. He walked along a little farther and saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They too were in a boat, mending their nets. Then he called them. So they left their father Zebedee in the boat, along with the hired men, and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. The readings today seems to be asking us to follow Jesus, but it is in a very sudden way, in a hurried way, isn't it? The first one is about um, the the call to the call to convert Nineveh. It is a call that is resisted, has been so resisted because Nineveh. The Assyrians were very, very, very mean people that the Israelites were really tortured and killed. And so, but the Lord has sent this prophet, a prophet who also was very, he was not very uh, committed to it. In fact, that he, want, he wanted to run away from it, run away, because he would be very afraid too. But then he was, God's design is always followed until he was even, as we know, that he was in the belly of the whale for three days, and then there he was in Nineveh. And again, after the repentance, and we know that God repented, and God has uh, uh, saved the Ninevites, and then after that, you know, he was not very happy of what happened because even he was complaining to God of saving these Ninevites, he says, they deserve to die. That is the kind of saying, no, because they are the ones, still he was trying to uh, uh, barter with God. And the second reading is about you know, doing things uh, uh, hurriedly also, because we know it's re uh, reminding us that the life that we have will be soon be finished. We are not permanent in this world. So therefore, there is a call for all of us, really, to become focused on the love of God. I think this is, this readings is very appropriate for our next, uh, uh, you know, the baptism, because baptism is also a call, a call of God to become part, to uh, become the part of the uh, community of believers. As we can see in Mark, it's a very, very sudden also. When John was killed, he right away went to proclaim the good news. To proclaim the good news. After John, even there is no um, more of an explanation, but rather he says that the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Very straightforward. And that is the idea and then that is the theological framework of Mark. He doesn't want to be, you know, dilly-dallying because the kingdom of God is at hand. So we are to repent. And as I mentioned, you know, in this baptism, we're all baptized. And yet, we, I mean, we are have to have received that the kingdom of God is at hand. You know? And yet we also are asked to repent because repentance is not only refusal to sin it's not only uh, avoiding sin but it is much more of a changing of our mind it is changing our mind changing our uh, mindset because this is the kingdom of god and this is how christ has manifested to us the mind of god the mind of god 
However, I would like to share with you, because this morning, the gospel was about his relatives. He says he went to Jesus and wanted, hey, you're getting out of your mind. Remember that one? Then he say, we are so embarrassed because you're doing things that is out of your mind. And the, and the question and the, and the insight came to me, yes, he's out of his mind, but because he is into his heart. Because the mind sometimes can be an obstacle to really listening to our heart. No? The mind seeks to clarify, seeks certainty, right? But in, in the realm of faith, faith is the able to actually embrace the uncertainty of what life gives us. And I think that is what the turning, uh, uh, turning your mind, no? it is to be converted to that kind of disposition that in faith, just as in life, nothing is certain. Nothing is certain. The second reading says, it is, we, it is a kind of an, of an attitude to do it now because the time is so limited. Sometimes we seek for a formula that is easier, a very clear answers to the problems of the, you know, to the problems of this world. But we see the world is so complicated and messy. Faith is being able to be at home with the messiness that means that we have hope to be in the midst of a messy life. That is why this is what probably, as I will refer it again, not, this is probably why there is a pushback on how Pope Francis would approach reality. Because Pope Francis says, we may not have the clarity because what happens is Christ has given us the core of his heart, which is compassion. Compassion. That is the basis of the gospel. We may not have a clear explanation of our actions, but that is what is demanded of conversion, a change of mind, being at home with the confusion, being at home with our uncertainty, whether we are doing it or right or wrong, what, is, what matters is compassion to the person who is in pain, who is, uh, who is taken for granted, a person who has been judged. That is what the gospel is all about. That is where the kingdom of God is. And we are indeed so blessed that we too are members of this kingdom of compassion, this kingdom of mercy, this kingdom that is just beyond our imagination, but the kingdom of brothers, sisters, because we love, we care for each other. And I think that will be my uh, sharing before we have this on uh, the challenge of baptizing Isla. Probably we are going to run after each other <laughs> because, by the way, before we do that, can you please stand up for the prayers of the faithful? My dear brothers and sisters, let us invoke, let us invoke the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ for this child about to receive the grace of baptism and for her parents, godparents, and all the baptized. For all clergy, may the Holy Spirit continue to sanctify and purify them in Christ's name. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the world, may all be drawn to Christ by his power of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer at the hands of others, may the Lord grant them reprieve and bring them justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the fighting in the Middle East and the Ukraine, may all who are involved be transformed by the, pre by the peace that comes from God our Creator. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faith community of Blessed Sacrament and Santo Toribio Romo, may we be given the grace to recognize the gifts we are offered in this liturgy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Sarah Abels, Rita Westgan, Nadine Trainor, Susan Johnson, Rita L. Trevino, Charlie Horn. May they be shepherded by our compassion to God into the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the basket next to Mary and Joseph and those we hold in the silence of our hearts. Your sovereign rule, O God, draws near to us in the person of Jesus, your Son. Your word summons us to faith. Your power transforms our lives. Free us to follow in Christ's footsteps so that neither human loyalty nor earthly attachment may hold us back from answering your call. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So please be seated and may now call the family of Isla Wright for our My oldest is there. Come on, oldest. Over there, Jeff. Is she really? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, this is a family affair, <laughs> right? Have you been baptized? Eh? Yes. She has been here? Yes. Oh, wonderful. Okay. So we have the prayer, first of all, the prayer of the anointing of the oil of catechumens. So may the Lord, may the strength of Christ, our Savior, protect you. And as a sign of this, we anoint you with the oil of salvation in the same Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. A little bit. Okay. No. <laughs> I, I don't want to, okay? Uh, just a little bit. Are you ready to depart at 8 o'clock? <laughs> no? Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Now we have the blessing of the water. Okay. <laughs> let us bless. Can you, let us pray, my brothers and sisters, that the Lord God Almighty may bestow new life on this child, Isla Bright, by water and the Holy Spirit. So blessed are you, Lord God, the Father Almighty, for you have created water to cleanse and give life. Blessed are you, God, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, for you poured forth water and blood from your side so that from your death and resurrection the church might be born. Blessed are you, God, the Holy Spirit, for you anointed Christ at his baptism in the waters of the Jordan that we might be baptized unto you. Sanctify this water you have created, that those you have chosen to be born again by the Holy Spirit and those and have a portion among your holy people forever and ever. Amen. You want to, you want to touch <laughs> Do you want to touch the water? Do you want to touch the water? Okay. See? See? Look at that. Yes. Uh -huh. No. <laughs> anyway, let us all stand now <laughs> and invite you. 
And uh, we are going to renew and support uh, the family and uh, the godparents in praying for Isla Bright to live in the kingdom of God by renewing our baptismal promises. My dear brothers and sisters, do you reject Satan in all his works and all his empty promises? I do. do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of God the Father? I do. do you believe in the Holy Spirit? the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. My dear brothers and sisters, this is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. And now we have the pouring of the water. So please pray that I love right. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. Okay. We can try it. I don't want to. Oh my God. Nine one one. Sorry, <laughs> it's okay. All right. I will just put it on here. Okay. I, okay. I'll, I'll uh, bright. I baptize you in the name of the Father <laughs> and of the Son. Of the Son. Is it right? Another one. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has freed you from sin, given you new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and joined you to his people. And now he now anoints you with the chrism of salvation, so that you may remain a member of Christ, priest, prophet, and king, unto eternal life forever and ever. And now the clothing of the baptismal garment. Isla, you have become a new creation and have clothed yourself in Christ. May this white garment uh, be a sign to you of your Christian dignity with your family and friends to help you by word and example. Bring it unstained into eternal life. Amen. And now receive. <laughs> Thank 
give this to the one of the godparents. I shall receive the light of Christ. Parents and godparents, that light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly so that Isla Bright, enlightened by Christ, may walk always as a child of the light and persevering in the faith may run to meet the Lord when he comes with all the saints in the heavenly court forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. Let us welcome Isla Bright. For the preparation of the gifts, our song is number 590, Christ Be Our Light, number 590. Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your own, your holy people, light for the world to see. Christ, be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ, be our light, shine in your church, gather today. Longing for peace, our world is troubled. Longing for hope, many despair. Your word alone has power to save us. Make us your living voice. Christ, be our light. Shine in our hearts, shine through the dark. Christ be our light, shine in your church, gather today. Longing for food, many are hungry. Longing for water, many still thirst. Make us your bread, broken for others, shed until all are fed. Christ, be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ, be our light, shine in your church, gather today. Longing for shelter, many are homeless. Longing for war, many are cold. Make us your building, sheltering others. Walls made of living stone. Christ, be our light. Shine in our hearts, shine through the dark. Christ be our light, shine in your church, gather today. Many the gifts, many the people, many the hearts that yearn to belong. Let us be servants to one another, making your kingdom come. Christ, be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ, be our light, shine in your church, gather today. Pray now, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept our offerings, O Lord, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from an ending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Oh, holy, oh, holy, oh, holy, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Indeed, holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly in it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, Lord, the newly baptized Isla Bright, who through baptism has today been joined to your family, that they may follow Christ, your Son, with a generous heart and a willing spirit. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, 
Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As joyful members of the kingdom of God, we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the banquet of the Lamb. Our communion hymn is the Servant Song. What do you want of me, Lord? Where do you want me to serve you? Where can I sing your praises? I am your song. Jesus, Jesus, you are the Lord. I 
I hear you call my name, Lord, and I am moved within me. Your spirit stirs my deepest self. Sing your songs in me. your song and servant, singing your praise like Mary, surrender to your spirit, let it be done to me. communion hymn 
number 728, Eye Has Not Seen, number 728. I has not seen, ear has not heard, what God has read he for those who love him. Spirit of love, come give us a mind of Jesus. Teach us the wisdom of God. When pain and sorrow weigh us down, be near to us, O Lord. Forgive the weakness of our faith and bear us up within your peaceful world. I has not seen, ear has not heard what God has read here. are but a single breath, we flower and we fade, yet all our days are in your hands, so we return in love what love has made. I has not seen has not heard what God has ready for those who love him. Spirit of love, come give us the mind of Jesus. Teach us the Those who see with eyes of faith, the Lord is ever near, reflected in the faces of all the poor and lowly of the world. I has not seen. Awesome. 
may now call on the ministers to the stick to come forward. As you, dis as you bring your wife this body of Christ, you are proclaiming the gospel of joy, for God is it at hand. The kingdom is here to heal us and to love us. Amen. Our hymn of praise is Companions on the Journey. Please stand and sing Companions on the Journey. We are companions on the journey, breaking bread and sharing life. And in the love we bear is the hope we share. For we believe in the love of our God. We believe in the love of our God. No longer strangers to each other. No longer strangers in God's house. We are fed and we are nourished by the strength of those who care, by the strength of those who care. We are companions on the journey, breaking bread and sharing life. And in the love we bear is the hope we share, for we believe in the love of our God. We believe in the love of our God. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that receiving the grace, we may always glory in your gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. There are several announcements. First one is, it's the time of the year again for tax letters acknowledging all your generous donations over the past year. Please see the bulletin for information about getting your letter and call the parish office if you have any questions. Thank you all so much for all ways you blessed our Catholic community during the year of 2023. The Kit Knights of Columbus are selling tickets for a delicious pasta dinner coming up on January 27th. Join us for a wonderful dining experience with all proceeds benefiting our Catholic community. Our music ministry is preparing for an anchor, anchor performance of the Living Last Supper to be held on Palm Sunday, March 24th. This musical drama portrays the Da Vinci painting of the Twelve Apostles telling their stories at the Last Supper. We are seeking actors, musicians, and singers interested in being a part of this story. So please, See 
Anthony Ransom for more information. There are many Judases already, they left. <laughs> there is a special retreat for women coming up March 2nd and 3rd. Ladies, give yourselves the gift of this wonderful retreat experience. Registration information can be found in the bulletin. And today also is the weekend, hospitality weekend. We have some uh, goodies there at the uh, uh, social hall. Please go there for food and fellowship. Once again, please consult our bulletin, our web website, and Facebook page for more information. The Lord be with you. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. God has called us out of darkness and into his wonderful light. May you experience his kindness and blessings and be strong in faith, in hope, and in love. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We are companions on the journey, breaking bread and sharing life. And in the love we bear is the hope we share, for we believe in the love of our God. We believe in the love of our God.